I think whatever's out there in the deep universe, James Webb's going to see it. A birth in the cosmos, captured by cameras orbiting the sun, trillions upon trillions of miles away from home. Right now, the gas and the dust in that big cloud is condensing and falling in on itself to form new stars. 390 light years from Earth, a star is born shooting chaotic jets of light through the Ro Ophiochi cloud complex. We believe that the processes going on in that cloud complex are the same processes that gave birth to our sun about four and a half billion years ago. President Joe Biden unveiled the first images from NASA's $10 billion James Webb telescope one year ago. Since then, NASA has offered a glimpse back in time in breathtaking detail from rare images of a dying star to distant supermassive black holes, and even photographs of some of the earliest galaxies in the universe. Like these three right here, which NASA believes existed near the dawn of time, about 13 billion years ago, when the universe was only 5% of its current age. The photo released Tuesday marked the first time researchers have been able to clearly see the cloud complex without other stars blocking the way. Scientists counted 50 brand new glittering stars in the image, some of which NASA called planetary systems in the making. NASA mission systems engineer Mike Menzel says the photos are proof that galaxies are evolving more quickly than scientists thought and could be the key to solving life's biggest mysteries. Looking at exoplanets, looking at the chemistry and the process of that chemistry is a stepping stone to saying, to answering the question, how common is life? Menzel adds the answer is far down the road, but in the years ahead, scientists are pointing the web at an intriguing solar system that could support life. There is a system called the Trappist system that has multiple planets around it, some of them in what we might term the habitable zone, a, a place, uh, a region around their star where uh, the temperatures might be right for liquid water and to have a, uh, conditions similar to the Earth. The possible discoveries are overwhelmingly endless, but pixel by pixel, Webb is piecing together clues about our own existence. I think whatever's out there in the deep universe, James Webb's going to see it. Helping us find the answers to mankind's most profound question, are we alone? Stephen Graddick, Scripps News.